Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure networking in ESXi 6.7. I will create vSwitch, VM kernel, NICs, port groups, etc. I will go to the web interface of the ESXi server. I will log in with root account. Now from the left side menu, I will select networking. Here by default, you will have the management network port group. Also in the virtual switches tab, you will have vSwitch 0 and physical NIC card. Depends on how many NIC cards you have in your SXI machine. In the VM kernel, you will have VM kernel 0 or VMK 0 and that is connected to the port group management network like this one also you will see the ip address configured for the first network card in esxi server from the native esxi interface you can configure only the first network card and to configure other network cards you need to go to the esxi client software or web interface I'm working on the web interface, so I'll go back to the web interface. Now I'll go to virtual switches tab and then add a second virtual switch, name it as vSwitch1. So I click on add a standard virtual switch and then name vSwitch1 and click on add. This vSwitch doesn't have any port group. I can create a port group here or I can create a port group when I add a VM kernel NIC. Let's add a port group right here. So I go to port groups and then add port group. Name it as VM network. And attach this port group to vSwitch1. So any device that connects to VM network will be connected to vSwitch1. So I click on add. Next, I will go to VM kernel NIC and add the second network card and connect to the port group VM network. So I'll click on add VM kernel NIC. Select an existing port group from the drop down vm network now i will put an ip address for this second network card in vmnet1 network of vmr workstation so I'll select static for ipv4 and expand and then type in the ip address 192.168.105 this was the network address part of vm net one or host only network and the host part for esxi one i will use 101 for the subnet mask i will use default for class c that is 255.255.255.0 and then for services i will choose vmotion provisioning fault tolerance management and replication and then click on create now you see that there are two different ip addresses for the csxi server one is in 192.168.101.0 network and another 192.168.105.0 network i have two v switches v switch 0 and v switch 1 vSwitch 0 has one port group and vSwitch 1 has one port group. vSwitch 0 is connected to management network port group and vSwitch 1 is connected to VM network port group. Now, if I create virtual machines, 
I will not be able to attach virtual machines to any of these port groups or V switches. As you can see, VM column is not applicable for these port groups. So I will add two more port groups, one for each of the V switches, and then I will be able to attach VMs to those port groups. If I add one more port group, and then I will name it as test and define VLAN ID as one and connect to vSwitch one, then click on add. So the test port group has been added. Now, if I want to delete any of these network items, then I can delete them by going into them and then go to the action and then click on remove. Sometimes you might not be able to delete some items. For example, if a virtual machine is connected to one of the port groups, then you will not be able to delete it until you move the virtual machine to a different port group. Test is connected to VLAN 1, as well as it is connected to VMNIC 1, which is essentially the second network card. I will go back. Test port group is connected to vSwitch 1 and VM network port group is connected to vSwitch 1. One of these two port groups says VMs NA are not applicable and the other port group says VM0 that means I can attach VMs here. Now I cannot attach VMs to the vSwitch 0 as it has only one port group. If I want to add VMs to this virtual switch, then I need to add new port group. I will add a port group with vSwitch 0 as well as I will rename this port group test1. So I will select that one and go to action and then edit settings. Here I will name it as VMs on vSwitch1. And I will also change the VLAN ID as zero and click save. Now I will add another port group with vSwitch zero. So I'll go to add port group and name this port group as VMs underscore vSwitch zero. This should be connected to the virtual switch zero and then click on add. Now you notice that the VM's characteristic of this port group became zero. So you need two different port groups for each virtual switches if you do want to add virtual machines in that virtual switch. One port group goes to one side of the connection, for example, towards the router or internet, and the other port group goes to the other side of the connection, for example, different VMs. Now I will go to the virtual switches and notice that there are two port groups with each virtual switches. If I select one of these, then I can see different characteristics in visually. For example, the two port groups are management network and VMs underscore v virtual switch zero. And if I add virtual machines, then I will see active ports here. I can delete this port group by going to the action menu and then select remove and then press on yes. I will not delete, so I will press on no. I'll go back to networking and then in the VM NIC, as you can see, one of the network cards is connected to the management network port group. That means vSwitch 0. And the other network card is connected to the VM networks, which is in vSwitch 1. That is the end of this video. I hope you found this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.